so I am going to finish up where I was. I was talking about my skincare using the Chanel um, products, the Le Lift and um, the Cream Riche for my moisturizing cream for my face and neck and decollete, and then the Le Lift um, concentrated um, eye cream. And what I've learned is to let my hands be just slightly damp and rub this moisturizing cream in was slightly damp and it really makes the coverage so much better and lighter and so that makes this go a long way because it's expensive it's over 100 bucks i think it's like 120 dollars is that right i'm pretty sure so that is expensive but you use just like the back of your fingernail that's all and then you put it on all three of these fingers rub it together and go of your whole face with just that i don't put a dot here a dot here a dot here a dot here because you're using up a lot of product i do one dot I mush it together on my fingers and get it nice and warm and emulsified, and then I really rub it in. And I've learned to wash my hands before I do my face, and instead of drying them off completely, I mean, I dry off the back so they don't, like, dribble down and everything, but while they're still slightly damp on the fingers is when I do this, and it really makes the coverage go further, and it may be holding in moisture. I don't know, but it's been working great. That is my skincare. I am absolutely loving it. That's the foundations that I'm still loving. Now on to... A product that I've used this year that's kind of been a game changer. Um, I will always keep one of them. I got two of them when I bought them. Um, but that is, this is perfect for every day and also perfect for travel. And this is by Charlotte Tilbury. And it is her instant look in a palette. Now, they're not cheap. It's beautiful pa uh, packaging. But it's got literally three eye colors, two cheek colors, um, a facial highlight and a bronzer and y'all I like this one this is seductive beauty I also think I got golden something I don't remember y'all seen it I've done so many tutorials with this and I just keep coming back to it and I think well it's just got to be boring for them to watch me get ready with the same old palette but you know what the reality of life is sometimes it's good just to get one don't buy a whole bunch and then when you use it up go get something else or if you really love that one get the that and then occasionally get something that's different now, y'all know I'm a YouTuber that does makeup reviews. Is one of the reasons why I buy so many palettes, so I can review them for you. But just, I love this. It's got a highlighter, a transition color, and a, a deeper color that you can use both for your, under your lash line, your outer V, and your brow if you needed to. And then you've got a choice of two blushes, or you could rub them together. Um, I usually go with a little bit of the darker because I don't want to be too peachy. That's just not good for my skin tone. It's a little peachy. So for people who love the peachy look, you'll love this. The bronzer, use very little of it, just back here, and a little blended, uh, you know, right into this hollow look. And then the highlighter, which I'm not a huge highlighter look person, but, you know, you can put it on the tip of your nose, right over your cupid's bow, right on the top of your, your chin, and maybe right here and down your, your um, the nose bone, <laughs> the middle of your nose. And then also a little bit right through here. Us older ladies, got to be careful, don't get it right there where your um, crow's feet are, because it highlighters highlight. But, um, but you can put it right below that, like right at the top of your cheek, just right back here, just so that when you do that, it gives a little bit of a shimmer and it gives a little bit of a look of moisture so that you look a little younger. Um, like I said, the moisture that I'm getting, the look that I'm getting is from using actual, um, this, um, this product combo is really giving a moist look and, um, I gotta say, late just the past two days I've been using this, and this is, I think this is gonna have to be a staple. I never thought a CC cream would be a staple, but anyway. Okay, so that is my little face palette. I would say it'd be great to take with you on a trip so you don't have to take a whole bunch of different stuff. And on days that I'm in a hurry, if you want to keep it in your purse and a little brush set, I cannot find my little brush set because I've got so much stuff out right now. But um, is it in there? No, but this um, I also bought her little brush set, which is about this same size um, in a rectangle, like about that big, and keep that, those two things in your purse, you're set to go. Uh, another one that I like to keep um, handy, it's an all-time favorite of Chanel, and that is this quad, and it is number 14 Mystic Eyes, and I think it's done so well for them, it's one of the few palettes that they have kept over time, but it's just got a beautiful rosy highlight, great um, transition color, um, a gold color that you could use as a transition color or on the lid and then a dark chocolate brown and this is just a really good palette y'all this is if you were ever going to get a Chanel palette this is definitely one of them I also love the Gabrielle or was it Mademoiselle one but I think they quit carrying that that's the only thing I don't like is when they 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 change out and I don't know if it's lack of sales or if they try to mix it up or make them unique 
but when they change them out and they're no longer there, it's like, err. So it kind of scares me. So I've gotten to where I start buying everything, twos and threes of them. Like I've got two in temporals. This is that uh, fingernail polish I just showed you. I've got two of these because I love this, this kind of molten um, silver look. Okay, so let's see. I showed you, I showed you. I've gotten, we're getting into eyes. Uh, Y'all know, hands down, there's no surprise here that the, um, the lip is just covered. It's Soft Rose by Chanel. There is no other. I've tried everything else. I've tried every kind of brand out there that says it's an all-day wear product, and it just keeps coming back to that. So there will be no lip coverage on this video. Um, so we're going to go to eye palettes. One, um, besides that Charlotte Tilbury and that particular Chanel palette that I really love, I have really enjoyed using my Persona, which is the one that I started out this video series um, doing this get ready with me look. This look is the Persona Identity Palette, and it is, um, I wouldn't call it a game changer, but I wouldn't be without it. I, uh, I have two of them, and it's on purpose. I don't want to run out of it. Here it is. It's just... I think they got it back in stock. I love the, co the cover. It's really cute. A girl in Paris. But just look at these colors. You cannot beat this. You cannot. It's got great um, pigmentation, great blendability, and great coverage and wear throughout the day. And it's just got every color you need for a warm look, a cool look, or a rusty look, or a shimmery look. It's got everything. Look. It's got kind of the warm it's got the shimmers, it's got the dark, it's got the mattes, it's got the golds, it's everything in this tiny little palette. And yet those are really big pans. But look, that's just great. I wouldn't put this, I wouldn't put big palettes like this, I say big palettes. I wouldn't put palettes of many um, eyeshadows in your purse because just they're going to turn into cake. I mean, they're going to turn into little crumbles. I would not do that. Um... Another one that I'm really enjoying is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I think it just, uh, it's cute packaging. Love the packaging. Love the smell of the chocolate, of course. But I gotta say, I'm actually really enjoying these colors because they're, they're definitely some staples, but there's also some unique colors in there, and uh, it's going to be fun to experiment with these. Like, I'm still looking forward to doing some more looks with this. So, of all the palettes of the year, this would come into uh, second place as far as new palettes of the year. But first place, it was limited edition. I made it my Christmas giveaway. The It Girl palette, hands down. I love the packaging being so sparkly. But more importantly, I love the fact that this has, in this palette, it has a blush that is just perfect. I don't know how it changes color the way it does, but it does. It just, it's the color you, you're always going to need. And there's a shimmer in the top so that when you use an angled brush, that top piece has a little shimmer to it. And it puts that highlight right where it should be right there look at that and you do more down up than this way you go this way and look how that just cuts in and gives you this beautiful um even with my i've got my glasses on and i'm doing this y'all it's just simple to use it's just it's a really good color that i think really would go for anybody i really do i love it You've got your basic browns over here, and you've got kind of a combo between a rosy and a, and a bronzy look over here. So you've got warms, cools, you've got everything you need in this palette. It was limited edition. If you can still get it, get it, because it is a really great palette, I would say, definitely. This other one I'm really enjoying. I just started using it recently, and um, I've shown you all this. This is Profusion Metal uh, Metallize. Met yeah. Why can't I talk? Metalized. Metallicized. Metalized. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> and it's a smoky palette, it says. But y'all, this is a great face palette. And it came with a great crease brush. It's got two blushes. It's got a golden highlighter. It's got some great basic colors. And yet, um, at the same time, while you've got these kind of warm tones, you've also got this green in there. And while you've got these cool tones, you've also got this kind of cranberry and you've got a gray in there. And of course, you've got black, you've got white, and those are just basic and a little mirror. Y'all, this thing was $4.99 at TJ Maxx. But they get a lot of things in that didn't sell or they over were overstocked, so you may not see them again. I would just go online and see, let me tell you where you go to get it. 
ProfusionCosmetics.com, P-R-O-F-U-S-I-O-N Cosmetics.com, and this is the, me the metalized, heavy metal collection, metalized, and this is the smoky one. Y'all, I would so get this if I were you. It's, it's cheap. It is fairly good. I mean, it's not going to be quite as blendable as these two. I don't know. Some of these were good, but you know the other day when I was using this, what was the color I put on? And once I put it on, it didn't even like stick. Was it this? It was this. It was the Love and Cocoa. Remember, I really had to work with that to get it to, to go on. So it's not just because it's expensive and expensive packaging doesn't always mean it's better. And especially for $4.99 versus $50, bucks, these are $50 palettes. $50. Now, I love them. I enjoy them. Um, but again, if you want something that blends perfectly the colors with each other, um, hands down, and also it has everything for the face, the Charlotte Tilbury one, hands down. Um, now, I will say, because this is in my purse, <laughs> the one that hands down blends best, better than anything else together is, and that's why I always have it in my purse, but again, remember how I said you shouldn't keep a palette in your purse if you don't want it to turn into crumbs. I am very careful with my purses, and that is my new purse. Um, but Tom Ford's number three, Coco Mirage, I really um, would have to tell you that this would be another. Uh, yeah, I will always keep this one. It's your basic four, but the way these four blend together, it looks just so smooth and so nice. Perfect application and blendability. Nothing can compare to it. Nothing at all. So anyway, I think that is all the um, eyeshadow palettes. So I will let this go into if it will let me. And I will tell you about some other.